So today I'm talking about P219B code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P219B code? Well, it's a bank to air fuel ratio imbalance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there needs to be the right air fuel ratio mixture that goes into each cylinder. And if this gets off, if there's too much air going into a cylinder or if there's too much fuel going into the cylinder, then what there should be, then that's going to cause problems. When there's too much air going into a cylinder, that's going to cause a lean condition. And then when there's more fuel than should be, then that's going to cause a ridge condition. And located down on the exhaust is going to be what's called oxygen sensors. These oxygen sensors do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then they report this information back to the computer. The computer uses that information to adjust the air-fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P219B code, the Bank 2 sensor 102 sensor is reporting back to the computer that this air-fuel ratio mixture is off, that there's some kind of issue going on there. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. But when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one, and the opposite of that would be bank two. You know, one thing to mention about this P219B code is that sometimes it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot since it could be caused by so many different things. If you're getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. I'm going to break down what's going on with this code and how you could go about fixing it. But just keep in mind that sometimes this code can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a P219B code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that Bank 2 Sensor 102 sensor, that it's just gone bad and that it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So there might not be a problem, but the computer thinks there is since the sensor is reporting bad information. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor 1 is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And Sensor 2 is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. The sensor that's reporting this information back to the computer about how much oxygen was burnt off is going to be this Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. So this is going to be the sensor to go and check and see if it failed and if it's working correctly. There's some new ways to go about testing these O2 sensors. You can use a multimeter to test them. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has like live data or data stream, you can also use that to go and test these sensors. There's some good videos on that. I've made videos on that. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But basically, the first thing that could cause this is a bad Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that if there's an exhaust leak, and basically that sensor is reading how much oxygen is inside of the exhaust. So if there's an exhaust leak and air is getting in from the outside, then that can throw those sensors off. It could cause them to get a bad reading and things along these lines. So basically, just be on the lookout for any kind of exhaust leak. And keep in mind that can throw these sensors off. So the next thing on the list is going to be an exhaust leak. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of problem with the engine that's making it run lean or rich. And this is where it could kind of get difficult to troubleshoot. And so the first thing to pay attention to is that if you're getting any other codes. For example, if you're also getting like a P0204 injector circuit open cylinder number four, then it's a good idea to go check out that injector on cylinder number four because very likely there's some kind of issue going on with it and that's causing bank two to run lean or rich. Another thing to pay attention to is that if the other bank of the engine, bank one, if it's also having problems, if it's running lean or rich for some reason, for example, if you're also getting like a P0171 system two lean bank one, then that would point to something that would affect the whole engine and not just one bank of the engine. And things that would affect the whole engine would be like the fuel pressure, so like the fuel pump or fuel filter or a bad sensor or something like that. But if you are only getting codes for bank two side of the engine, then that's going to point more towards something like a bad injector, some kind of issue going on with the spark on bank two or something like that. So basically be sure to pay attention to any other codes because they can help give you clues to what the problem is. If you are only getting codes on bank two and you can't figure out which cylinders are running rich or lean or anything like this, you can remove the spark plugs one at a time and then see how they're burning and then match this to a spark plug burn chart. Basically, you could tell how that cylinder's running by seeing how the spark plug's burning and matching it to a spark plug burn chart. So for example, say you remove the spark plug on cylinder number two and that spark plug tip, it's really black. You know it's running rich for some reason. And all the other spark plugs, they all look good. Those cylinders are all running good. Then you know that you just need to focus in on that cylinder number two that it's having some kind of issues for some reason. So you could check the injector on cylinder number two, be sure the coil's good. 
different things like this. Because the last thing that's going to cause us is that there is some kind of problem going on on bank two side of the engine that's causing the engine to run lean or rich. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P219B code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.